Hey guys, this is Angie and I'm playing Dreamfall Chapters and the last time we were able to finally enter Abnaxus's abode we met Brian West's house which was questionable um, surprise I don't know, pleasure, whatever I'm not very happy that we met him because I already said that he's evil yeah, but anyway uh, there was a mention of something related to Roper Clax, who is a uh, crow was supposed to um, guide me to show me where Roper is uh, showing his um, fingerlings. <laughs> yeah, anyway, um, where is that bird? Man, he flew off and he left me alone. That meanie. But where, where was I supposed to go? Find the fingerlings. Thanks. You are here. Um, the journeyman in. Why is the journeyman in on the map when it's closed? Maybe it's an old map. Um, mm -hmm. uh, where was it supposed to be? I think somewhere in the city green. But it's definitely not. So maybe... I don't know. Crow, where are you? You were supposed to guide me. Or did I just wander off too fast, too slow, whatever? Are you are you somewhere here? No, maybe I can see you from here somewhat. Somehow. No, I can't. Okay, so I guess um, I'll just run around for a bit and I'll let you guys know once I find Crow or Roper Clax. Oh, but I forgot to mention, Roper Clax was a great magi- Wait, it's over here. Okay, it was easier to find than I thought. Uh, he was a great magician. He was evil, but he was defeated by April and her calculator. Calculator. Hey, hey, is anyone there? I mean, what's happening? Why is- why isn't anything happening? Like, maybe- maybe I should have- Maybe I should have waited for Crow. Um, find the fingerlings. Done. Um, did I glitch the game? Like, did I book it? Nice things. <laughs> Good boy, Orga. <laughs> Why? It's connected to the pipes. Can Looks I somehow... Oh, there you are. Can I talk to you, kind sir? I can't even begin to guess what they're for. Roper clacks, I presume. Yeah. Looks wizardly. As in, how I expected wizards to look when I was ten. Yeah, to be honest, I'm still surprised that, that they didn't lock him. If you'll seek an autograph, you must purchase my book first. It's on sale today. Only... No, sorry. I, I need to talk mm -hmm. to you. Talk, hmm? I think they changed his voice. Well, I only have a few minutes before my show begins, but Maybe I'm, I'm wrong. sure I can spare a couple of them for a pretty young thing like you. Aww. It's an odd. The finger. Lives. Yeah, let's let's tr let's ah, start slow. My beloved finger puppets, beloved by all children and critics alike. Gilbert Grutton of the Daily Marconian mm -hmm. called my show simply astonishing and wrote that it was quite impossible to look away. I couldn't believe my eyes and, like a slow motion <laughs> car, you see, the fingerlings represent a revolution in finger puppeteering, uh -huh. or as I call it, Please don't. Uh, trademark and patent pending. The women in particular are quite ecstatic. I wonder why. Stay for the show. I guarantee a good All time. All right, I will. This has to be the right. You are Roper Clax, right? The wizard? Who told you that? Well, that sign, for one. <laughs> no, the... The wizard part. Who told you? I mean, uh, I'm merely a humble finger puppeteer trying to make an honest living in a cold and heartless world. <laughs> but you were a wizard once. Fully rehabilitated, mm -hmm. I don't go anywhere near sorcery. Not anymore. Oh. You should really read my highly acclaimed and best-selling memoir, A Farewell to My Wizarding Ways. It's, it's so a sad. thrilling story of redemption and romance, oh. of dashing heroes and wicked villainesses, of flying castles and curious calculating devices. 
Every word of it as true as the night is dark and the day is bright, of course. I might as well get right. Didn't? Do you remember April Rye? Oh. April Rye? Oh, yes, of course. Absolutely. Certainly. Naturally. The bit. <clears throat> The brave young woman who came to my I castle thought he stole. was rehabilitated in Dreamfall. And I mean, in the first me Dreamfall. My sorceress passed behind me. How could I possibly forget? Um. He's obviously got some issues with April. I'd be curious. But I'm not sure if it's a good idea. I might have. Do you recall owning a soul stone? A soul stone? I... Mm hmm I don't know what you're talking about. I was just wondering, since there are so many impressive tales about your powers where I come from. And where would that be? Uh, south. Um... That was a long time ago. In another life. I've moved on. I'm a different person now in every way. Okay. I was just wondering what happened to the stone. She took it, that bitch. Balance? Pardon me? I don't know where that came from. He sounds from. like he has a split hmm. personality. The Yaga, the wicked witch of the north, as these simpletons call mm -hmm. her. As if they have any idea who and what she truly is. Is this the same monster that we she met lurks in, in Riverwood, the longest journey? In the dark places she feeds on that stone like a. <coughs> like when like April I was said, saving the bandus? In the past, and I've left it all behind long ago. Now I make an honest living bringing joy to children through my most excellent and revolutionary finger puppet theater. And on that note, I must beg your pardon, young miss. The show is about to begin. Can we please talk again afterwards? I have some more questions. Uh, sure, sure, sure. Absolutely. After the show. After the show. Yes, 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 yes. I don't believe him. <laughs> Yes, here we go. Oh. This is gonna be so good. Ladies and gentlemen, uh -huh. boys and girls, humans and... Well, humans. <laughs> and you, Azadi soldier standing over there, you're welcome to watch. Just don't rattle your sabers or rustle your suits. Just I'm don't move. Welcome to this morning's performance of... The Fingerlings. Uh, I can I see am April. Your host and puppeteer Rupert Clax, esteemed thespian and raconteur, author and entrepreneur. My book is available for purchase with a free personalized dedication. Speak to me after the show. Mm -hmm. A donation is both appreciated and expected. <laughs> Drop your coins into the box after the show. Remember that every iron piece goes towards a good purpose. Woohoo! Go, fingerlings! My beloved fingerlings, uncrafted reproductions of renowned actors from across Arcadia, mm -hmm. immortalized in finger puppet form by skilled artisans, using only the finest fabrics and natural materials. Who's that dragon? These lovely creatures are as dear to me as children, and as talented and protean as the finest human no, players. No, it's not April. I don't think You're so. You're all welcome to approach the stage after the show, of course, to admire my finely crafted miniatures up close and intimately. No food, no touching, no children. <laughs> Oh and my now, god. And beloved audience, prepare yourselves <laughs> for a journey into <laughs> mystery for a true story of wizardry and magic. I present to mm -hmm. you the tale of the good-hearted wizard and the villainous winch. Once upon a time in the distant <laughs> That's his castle. There lived a kindly old wizard in a wonderful flying I wonder castle. if it's okay to talk about this magic very that positively. like to tease and toy with the people of the land, and sometimes he would do silly things like uh, turn them into stone or furry animals Dude. and bottle up the wind. <laughs> 
Naturally, he meant no harm, and the people of the land love the wizard like they would a grandfather, a very young and very, very, a very eccentric handsome grandfather. grandfather. But one day, an evil oh my God. from a distant land came to visit the kindly Oh, husband. Jesus. This ugly, selfish witch didn't understand that the wizard was only trying to make people happy. She used her dark sorcery to steal all of his possessions and trap him inside a tiny little box where the gentle wizard was barely able to breathe. I love how April looks the in here. The poor old man was trapped for many moons inside this box before a benevolent wandering god arrived hmm. to free him from his prison. The wizard pledged eternal allegiance to the wandering okay. god in return for vengeance against the cruel witch who trapped him. Together they... There he is, Commander. The dangerous loon who's corrupting our youth with his occult finger rings. No! What? What's this? What? What are you doing? What's going on? You can't... No. Hey! Hey, hands off! You're teaching children of magic, old man. You ought to know yeah, better. Yeah, that's what I taught. Release me, you dishonorable brute! By the authority vested in me by the Greater Azadi Empire and the Emissary, and in accordance with provisional imperial law prohibiting mm. any and all teachings of occult magic, I'm taking you into custody. You can't but do this. Isn't he like you a very high, on a very high position? Like he, my fingerlings, my he's going to just go around locking no! up people for a street theater. Like, isn't that something a lowly soldier should do? Him. What a travesty! Yeah. Hey. I didn't see that coming. I guess the Azadi aren't fans of creepy puppet shows either. <laughs> I think it had more to do with him being a wizard. Okay, shit. So what now? He was my only lead to the but Soul he Stone. told you! All I have to go on is something about a Yaga and Riverwood. Mm -hmm. Riverwood? I know Riverwood. I've been to Riverwood. If it's Riverwood you need, I know how to get to Riverwood. That's good. Really? And the Yaga? The Wicker Witch? I don't know anything about Yagas. But I do know something about witches in mm -hmm. Riverwood. On my last trip there, we had a close encounter with one of them. That witch is toast, yeah. of course. But that's I exactly the one I was talking about. It's north. We go north. Wait, which way is up? Yeah, north. Okay. Uh, okay. That's something, right? Much better than nothing. April, you. Oh we my god, not April. You are not April. Zoe, do you away. think it's wise to talk to a flying. bird when there's two I'm people standing right next way. to you? I tire easily. Wait. I feel a cunning plan coming on. Follow me, okay. Zoe. Okay, just. Uh oh. It's either a cunning plan or I need the toilet. But I'm pretty sure it's a oh, cunning plan. Crow. I wanted to check the brokers. I still can't believe you pulled off the voice and the whole fake hand what? thing. The hat looked great on you. Oh, totally. Uh, not so sure about the beard, though. My face is itchy. What beard? Speaking of faces, I can never show mine in Mercuria again. Not after that last bit we did. If everything goes well, you won't have to. At least we have a ride. Can I trust this thing? They're docile cows, the Elguan. Just leave it to me. Oh. Mush, Daisy! Mush! Whoa, whoa, I think you're upsetting her. I'll, uh, I'll leave the cowgirl into mm -hmm. you. I'll fly ahead and scout the terrain Please instead. Please do. Don't lose sight of me! I... I have no idea how they pull that off with, with uh, uh, some tricks and, and a beard, whatever. Must be new but I wanted to check out Ropper's shack. It's been less than two days. Quote, and I'm beginning to regret bringing you along. You're stuck in the cargo hold of a cloud ship with your worst enemy. How could you possibly have any worst regrets? Worst enemy. And people say you have no sense of humor. If there was ever a time to make peace with Liko, this is likely it. Maybe there's still a chance to create a bond between us. We're on a mission. 
This is neither the time nor place to make peace with Liko. We already fight side by side. That's our bond. Besides, I'm tired. Ah, uh, I know, but you know, it, it shouldn't take long to just say I'm sorry for killing your father. Time to make peace with I'm sorry about your father. I know that may not amount to much now, but I was a different person then. I was blind to the possibility that there could be more than one truth. There's been so much death on the road to this place. I murdered an innocent man during my escape from Friar's Keep. He begged me to, but I still don't know if I did the right thing. Hmm. When I visited his widow, she only had hate for me. She couldn't understand my reasons for doing what I did. I ran Balse Bakim through and watched him bleed to death so that I could make my escape through a blood magic portal. I still wonder if his sacrifice was worth it. Have I repaid that debt? Shepard believes so. But many thought him a better man than I, so why did he have to die? I've murdered my own countrymen when I've judged them unworthy of life. What did I gain from these actions? What did it mm -hmm. change? What would have been different had I acted differently? All of these choices, Liko, they add up. My soul is heavy. The others believe me unaffected because I carry on as if nothing happened. But their faces and voices are there when I close my eyes. Those deaths never leave me. No words can undo these deeds. There are no excuses for the wrongs I've committed. I don't think Liko's listening. But I am trying to heal the wounds I've inflicted. It's a long journey, Liko. And I know. When you arrived from Friar's Keep, I wanted you dead. Really? <laughs> and people say you have no sense of humor. Oh. They do? We've been through much since He smiled. Then. I believe I know you. A little. You've taken up arms against your own people, risking shame, death, and your immortal soul. Because you believe they're misguided. Mm-hmm. It cannot be easy being hated and feared by both sides. I may still despise you because you murdered my father. I may still dislike you because you're an arrogant and intolerant child. Oh, shit. at least he's honest. I respect you, Kian. And I trust you. What? 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 Why? Uh, uh, whatever. That trust goes both ways, Liko. Thank you. That's awkward. Well, I'm taking a nap. This half of the hold is mine. Stick to your side, or I may stab you in my sleep. <laughs> Don't worry. I've no intention of cuddling up. Oh, next to too you. bad. Kian, are you awake? <gasps> I wasn't. This has now changed. Did I ever tell you how my society views people like us? Like us? I don't believe huh? so. The Dole and Tiqua consider themselves tolerant and inclusive in all matters. And yet I've always had to hide who I am from my family and what? friends. What? If they knew the truth, I'd be ostracized. Tolerance, it seems, has its limits. What? But in the resistance, no one cares. This thing we share, it doesn't change how they feel about us. It's strange. Strange, but liberating. With the resistance, you are who and what you decide to be. Uh -huh. Regardless of color and creed, gender and religion. Uh -huh. I thought you loved April Ryan. I did. I do, but... Not like that. She was someone I cared deeply about and always will. But I could never have shared my life with her. What? I still miss her every day. I'm, I'm in such a deep shock, I'm shaking. <laughs> no, I'm going back to sleep. We have a long day ahead of us tomorrow. A day of sitting in the dark, bickering about who passed this? <laughs> I said, a long day. Oh, God.
Oh, hi, new chapter. What is this? Tell me it's gonna be Saga. I want to see Saga again. God damn it. No, it's Zoe. Traveling on that weird cow. It's not very fast. I think it might have made no difference if they went by foot. Oh, what? Oh no, it's oh, running away. Oh, fuck. Oh, I mean that hurt. Never trust an Elguan. Cowardly cows. But what scared it? Oh, something must have spooked it. What do we do now? This place looks familiar. I think we're close. In fact, I think we're... Leave! <gasps> Go! Or I'll call the others! Whoa! Hey there! I'm I'm friendly and, and unarmed. You're human. You can't be fr... Oh. Bird? Crowbird? <laughs> Crowbird. Hello. Hey, you're that fretful furry thing we met the first time we came through here. Ben... Franklin. <laughs> ben Bandu. This isn't the same human who accompanied you. Oh, last you changed. Time. This is my new human. She's mostly harmless. Say hello, Zoe. Don't be rude. Hello. I. Hello. Hello. Are you the new Bandu and Bata? No, I don't think so. Bamboo. What? No, I have no idea. I'm Zoe. You're a dreamer. Is, is it that so obvious? I keep saying. I'm not very good at it. How did you know? We live close to the dreaming here. Her dreams surround Her? us. The Yaga. Oh. That's it. That's the one we're looking for, right, Zoe? The Yaga. You're you're looking for the Yaga? On purpose? Are you mad? Yes. Oh, I'm not. Her? I'm not so sure about. You know the Yaga. She lives in this forest. We do not speak her name. She's Dangerous. She's mean. She gonna eat you. Teddy bear probably knows more about the <laughs> teddy Yaga. Teddy bear. He doesn't look like a teddy bear. He looks more, more like I don't know. Who is she? Ewok. The Yaga. She's old. Really old. She's been around since long before my people came to this oh, forest. Oh shit. Once she had many servants, witches, warlocks, evil ones. Like in the stories told by the elders. Mm -hmm. But her servants are all gone now. So she woke up and crossed into our world. She doesn't belong here. But she's She lonely sounds almost sympathetic. And hungry. Oh, okay. <laughs> Great. Well, we still have to find her. She has the soul stone. The soul stone? I've heard of the soul stone. The Yaga took it from the fallen fortress of her warlock. Oh. Warlock? Roper Clax worked for the Yaga? They all did. The Gribbler, Clax, all the evil witches and warlocks of the Northlands. But they're gone now. Just like my people. How many are there? April Ryan imprisoned the warlock and killed the witch. She saved us all. But then... Then the Azadi came with sharp blades and metal tubes that spewed fire. They murdered most of us. Some fled east. I'm the only one left Why? here now. Why? That's terrible. Why didn't you leave I'm with so the rest? Sorry. One day, they'll come back. All the surviving Banda. Until then, I watch over their burrows. And I sing. For them. For all That's of us. So sad. This soul stone. It's important? Yeah. Very. You'll use it to fight the Azadi? That's part of it, yes. I'll take you to the Yaga. Or as close as I dare go to her lair anyway. Great! I was expecting you to say no, and by expecting, I mean hoping. Does the bird always speak like yeah. that? Yeah. I'm afraid so. Lead the way, Ben. Oh, my. Mm. The Yaga's beyond the ridge. Once you cross that, you're in her realm. You're not coming with? Did you not hear me when I said she was hungry? No, I'm not coming with you. The walls of that place are thin. 
And she can smell my magic. A wise decision, tiny man. Come on, Zoe, let's turn around and head back with Benben. <laughs> Maybe catch a fat squirrel and roast it Dude, for dinner? we have... This is what we came yeah. here for. If we don't get the soul we, stone... We have everyone a mission. dies, the world ends, no more Christmases, blah, blah, you blah. You celebrate Christmas? I'm so sick of walking into one perilous scenario after the other. After we're done with this one, no more adventures. I swear to the feather gods of old. All right. You'll know you're there when you see the Gribbler's old house. She was the witch who lived here before. The Gribbler served the Yaga, and that's where she came through from the beyond. All right. Will you wait for us, Ben? I'll wait until nightfall. But if you're not back by then... We'll be back. Mm-hmm. And I had such a craving for Crispy Squirrel. Yes. Nightfall? It looks like nightfall already. Like, what the hell? So how long are you supposed to wait? Like, an hour? Yeah, but anyway, I think we will do that the next time. We will find the Yaga, whatever. I wonder if she looks similar to that witch that April killed. If so, then she's gonna be pretty creepy. Oh, man. <laughs> that, that conversation between Kian and Liko got me... Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, <laughs> that's all I'll have to say right now. All right, but um, I think we'll leave it at that for now. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.